After spending a month in Bangkok, it was time to backpack Southeast Asia. I took a train to the border of Cambodia and a bus into Siem Reap where I spent 36 hours. This is everything that I got up to. While I was waiting for the bus, I met a local girl and she took me on a moped, which was my first time ever being on one, and we went to a night market and then I checked into my hostel. I stayed at the place hostel. The next day, I woke up at 3.33 a.m. to go on a sunrise tour to Angkor Wat. I went through Kluke, so I'll link that down below, as well as a $5 off promo code. Everyone was gathered to watch the sunrise, so it was really crowded, but the rest of the temples actually weren't that crowded. Um, and then, obviously, I saw a stray dog, so I had to feed. I've been carrying around like little dog biscuits with me to feed them. And then we went around some of the other temples, and then we stopped and we got some lunch, so I got some noodles. Like the wooden school. Yeah. Anchor what? Oh, louder, louder. One, two, three. Then I went to the center called Apopo and they trained these rats to dig out some landmines. And so that's cool. We got to hold the rats. And then I went to the same night market I went to the last night and I got the same noodles again. <laughs> then I flew from Siem Reap to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And I flew with Air Asia, and I'm gonna try and avoid this airline because I tried to book the same flight multiple times online, and my card kept not going through. So I just had to buy my ticket at the airport and pay like fifty dollars more, and my card worked at the airport, huh? So I just landed last night, and it's my first full day in KL. So right now I'm kind of just like walking around. I'm in like Merdeka Square, I think it is. It's kind of like a colonial center, and I'm looking at all the buildings. It's the very end of September right now. I think I'm gonna be in Malaysia for like a month, honestly, because I'm about to go and do a World Packers experience for 10 days. Um, and I'm gonna see a bunch of different areas of Malaysia after that. I spent my first day doing a lot of walking. So I walked around the Colonial Square and then I went to this botanical garden later and I just got to know the city a bit more. And they do have Metro, so it was quite easy to get around the city and it was also very walkable. Some things that surprised me about Malaysia, since I didn't do a lot of research before I came here, was that a lot of people are Muslim and there's also a lot of Indian influence. So I went to the National Art Museum as well, and I got to learn a lot more about the history. There's like a giant pop socket. Boop, boop, boop. Now I'm at Avenue K Shopping Mall and I'm about to get some lunch. Then I went to KLCC Park to overlook the Bertonos Towers, and I took these really great pictures, 10 out of 10, love them. Day two, it's literally six in the morning. There's like no one on the street right now. Um, I'm going to the Batu Caves and they are already open. I wanted to be there when they open, but it might be even better today because it takes about an hour to get there. So in an hour, it should be like sunrise. So that'll be really cool. Two hundred seventy-seven steps later. I thought the outside of the Batu Caves were absolutely stunning and then when I climbed to the top, I'm not sure like what was going on. It was some type of traditional offering maybe, um, so I watched a little bit of that and then I saw monkeys. Oh, just a baby. Okay. Okay. So you want to get here early to avoid the crowd, so I got here at like 7, but I think 8 is like the perfect time because there's still no crowds but the monkeys just came out. Cause like this is what the crowds look like so you can still get pictures with no people in them right now. I only spent about an hour here but this was a really cool spot. If you're in KL, you definitely have to come here. It's like the most popular thing to do. And while I was there, I took some cute pictures. So I got this tattoo earlier, this dragonfly, cause it kind of reminds me of my mom. And I also thought like the lace was really cool on the wings. And I got it on Cuddling Market Street. I don't know if I said that right, but it was $50. And I literally tried to tip too. And then he refused the money. So like that's a really good price for the tattoo. It took like two hours. So now I'm walking to this temple. I'm walking by some like the local houses, really cute. I'm walking on like the side of the road, a little sketchy. So I went to this Chinese temple because not only is there a lot of Indian influence, but there's also a lot of Chinese influence. And this temple was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. They even do weddings here sometimes. And there was a really nice view of the city from here. And then I went back into the city because there was actually a lot of bugs there. There was a lot of bugs in KL. So this is the first time I actually had to buy bug spray on my trip. I was trip. just by the river and this guy was like, what's on your arm? Like, what's green? 
and I'm like, what well, my tattoo? I thought he meant those at first. And he's like, your tattoos. He's like, did you get them in prison? Why are they all green? I'm like, they're not. They're black. The last thing I did in KL was go to the movies. I saw It Ends With Us. It was an okay movie. It could have been better, but that was it. Bye, guys.